Hello, this is Chiwing Lo. I'm the founder of Dimension Chiwing Lo Italia and Oneness Design Limited. Um, these are the two brands I work very closely with. And apart from design, uh, architecture, interior, and sculptures, um, it's a multidiscipline um, uh, work that I'm engaged, um, not just in Hong Kong, but in different parts of the world. I have lived in Asia and have studied in America. Um, it, sort of certain things still, you know, coming with me. Um, the sense of um, calmness, so sense of modesty, perhaps. They, they are perhaps the essence of what I believe um, the spirit from the East is not symbol, it's not a dragon, not a phoenix, not red, nor gold. I think the Chinese um, philosophy and, and way of looking at things very much reflect in the early, even before Renaissance, when they see the object coming from that part of the world and how they you know, understand, wow, these people making this kind of thing, what kind of mind they have. And I think when I project those quality in the furniture, people immediately related to, without knowing me, that wow, this may be from the East. I work a lot with circle. I love, work a lot with square. Why? It's because those fundamental geometry make things uh, very recognizable. Second is, it demands incredible precision. A circle is a circle. It's a radius all around, equal distance. A square has 490 degrees, at four equal sides. And everything that sort of work towards that is opposed to that perfection. And that perfection is always, you, you find yourself always deviate. So um, I think all my work has that, uh, what I say, uh, invisible guideline behind it, that the perfection the, is following that sort of the invisible guideline. I wish people look at my work, but not me. Because I believe every work from a designer is already project his thought, his character. It's like I can tell from a work whether you are modest or pompous. So I, I would say, you know, if they can find that calmness and modesty in my work, uh, that's pretty much me as well. I think susceptibility is a lot to do with things that you make, you design, so last, that we're not changing a sofa every month. Now, of course, if you, you, you buy a furniture, it lasts, you know, one century, what is the economy of furniture? Then it's also you will find a balance on those. Um, so I, I'm more occupied in those things that when I design something, I want to see it last. I want to see uh, not just last as durability, but last as something that it become a, a modern classic all the time, meaning continue valid in aesthetic, in function, in use, or by the pure sense of the beauty of it, perhaps. I would say Dimension Chimino is basically provide me a lot of um, research facility that allow me to apply into different fields in architecture, in interior, in sculpture. A lot of those uh, knowledge uh, research coming from, coming from making very precise things and how to use different material in different locations. I will not be able to make my sculpture if I did not learn well furniture. The, the idea of the sculpture I have with 30 something years ago, I could not make them because I did not know wood, I did not know metal. Until I make 20 years of furniture, I returned to sculpture. That become, you know, possible. Nature for me is not exactly beautiful. You have to make it beautiful, it's like we work with bonsai or panzi. Because you take a tree, you cultivate the way you wanted it. And it's a notion of how to make something more beautiful than nature. When I take in nature, I'm not taking it raw. I have taken it either as a contrasting element, 
perhaps I have、um, explored that natural phenomenon. For example, my vase. They design vase. How life, you know, spring out from a crack, a, a crack with a little bit of moisture. So many of my rays are coming from that. So it's like, you know, that 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 part of how life can spin forth is, you know, that relationship、uh, with nature. But not to say、uh, I will use wood, I will do that. It's also I will add on a little bit、uh, recently when I design a restaurant, and I say how to make a good meal. It's like you have to add weather, rain, sun. Falling leaves, together with the interior, together with the utensil on the table, the chair that you sit on, the lighting you see, the food. This part of the cooking. <laughs> I always say, you know, if you're a good cook, you're half good to be a designer. You're on the way to be a good designer if you're a good cook. I think modern luxury is、um, has certain, I would say. A, a, a personal dimension,、uh, meaning that given the great,、uh, I would say, infinite difference between individual, I'm not intended to give you one particular things. I will give you a background. I will give you a, a, a background that you feel. That you belong to, that you don't feel like, oh, this is not my way or something. But that that kind of, I would say, a a a blank piece of paper that you can color on. Let's put it this way. <laughs> I always believe that we have enough visual pollution. <laughs> Does more design contribute to more this visual pollution?、Um, is it? We have billions of chairs. Why we want to design another chair? What is the purpose of it? What is your contribution? So, if we are talking about design change, I think the first thing is maybe not to design, but really look at if we have one million chair already. What is that one million one chair contribute? You know, to this whole process, this whole, you know. Humanity,、uh, you know, in the long run, the younger generation designer worry that they do not have the opportunity. Look at me; I'm 68 years old now.、Um, I always believe time will come when it's your turn, but be sure that you are ready when the time comes to your turn.